Hi friends in this part of PHP query invoice tutorial, now we have moved to write PHP code for insert invoice data. So here we have write of statement and under condition we have write is set function with dollar post create invoice variable. This condition will check if this variable value is set then it will execute if block of code. Under this block we have defined dollar order total before tax variable is equal to zero. Under this variable we will store value of invoice total amount before tax. After this we have defined dollar order total tax one variable is equal to zero. Under this variable we will store total amount of tax one we will store under this variable. Same way we have defined dollar order total tax 2 variable is equal to 0. Under this variable we will store total amount of tax 2 we will store under this variable. Now we have defined dollar order total tax 3 variable is equal to 0. Under this variable we will store total amount of tax 3 we will store under this variable. Then after we have defined dollar order total tax is equal to zero. Under this variable we will store total amount of all three tax we will store under this variable. And after this we have defined dollar order total after tax variable is equal to zero. Under this variable we will store total amount of invoice with tax we will store under this variable. After define some variable, now we have write dollar statement variable is equal to dollar connect variable with prepare statement. Under this we have write insert query like. Insert into order table with table column like order number, order date, order receiver name, order receiver address, order total before tax. Order total tax 1, order total tax 2, order total tax 3, order total tax, order total after tax and order date and time. With values like double colon order number, order date, order receiver name, order receiver address, order total before tax, order total tax 1, order total tax 2, order total tax 3, order total tax, order total after tax and order date and time. This our insert invoice query now we want to execute this query so we have write dollar statement with execute method and under this method we have defined one array with multiple key and value. This method will execute query and insert data according to define in this array. Here first we have store zero value in table column like order total before tax smarter total tax one, two and three, order total tax. Order total after tax. In all this column data we will update after inserting of data of order item table. Now we want to fetch get last inserted order E. So we have write dollar statement variable is equal to dollar connect variable with query method and under this method we have write select last inserted function. This query will return last inserted order E. Now we want to get that order it so we have write dollar order it variable is equal to dollar statement variable with fetch column method. This method fetch result of last inserted did and store into this dollar order it variable. Now we have moved to write code for insert order item data. So we have write for loop with dollar count variable value is equal to zero. Dollar count variable value less than value of dollar post total item hidden variable and dollar count variable value plus plus. This loop will continuous interval until this dollar count variable value less than this dollar post total item variable. Under this loop we have write dollar order total before tax variable is equal to dollar order total before tax variable plus dollar post to order item actual amount with dollar count variable index. This code will calculate invoice total amount before tax and store under this variable.
After this we have write dollar order total tax one variable is equal to dollar order total tax one variable plus dollar post to order item tax one amount variable with dollar count variable value index. This code will calculate invoice total amount of tax one and store under this variable. Same way we have write dollar order total tax two variable is equal to dollar order total tax two variable plus dollar post to order item tax to amount variable with dollar count variable value index. This code will calculate invoice total amount of tax to and store under this variable. Now we have write dollar order total tax three variable is equal to dollar order total tax three variable plus dollar post to order item tax three amount variable with dollar count variable value index. This code will calculate invoice total amount of tax three and store under this variable. Then after we have write dollar order total after tax variable is equal to dollar order total after tax variable plus dollar post to order item final amount variable with dollar count variable value index. This code will calculate whole invoice total amount with tax and store under this variable. Now we have write dollar statement variable is equal to dollar connect variable with prepare statement and under the statement we have write insert query like insert into order item table. With table column like order id, item name, order item quantity, order item price. Order item actual amount, order item tax one rate, order item tax one amount, order item tax two rate, order item tax two amount, order item tax three rate, order item tax three amount and order item final amount. With values like double colon order id, item name, order item quantity, order item price, order item actual amount, order item tax one rate. Order item tax one amount, order item tax two rate, order item tax two amount, order item tax three rate, order item tax three amount and order item final amount. So this is insert query for insert order item data into table. Now we want to execute this query, so we have write dollar statement variable with execute method and under this method we have define array with keys and value. In key we have defined table column name and in value we have defined particular column value. This method will execute query and insert invoice item data into order item table. Here we can see in all table column in key and respective key value has been get from this form item in array format. After this we have write dollar order total tax variable is equal to dollar order total tax one variable value plus dollar order total tax two variable value plus dollar order total tax three variable value. This code will add all three variable value and store into this dollar order total tax variable. Now we want to update table column of order table, so we have write dollar statement variable is equal to dollar connect variable with prepare statement and under this we have write query like update to order table. Set order total before tax is equal to double colon order total before tax, order total tax 1 is equal to order total tax 1. Order total tax 2 is equal to double colon order total tax 2. Order total tax 3 is equal to order total tax 3. Order total tax is equal to double colon order total tax. Order total after tax is equal to double colon order total after tax where order it is equal to double colon order in. This is simple update query which will update some table column of order table. Now we want execute this query so we have write dollar statement variable is equal to execute method and under this method we have define array with key and value. This query will update key table column with respect to value of that key. We can see here.
After execute query now we want to redirect page to invoice.php page, so we have write header method and under this method we have write location with invoice.php page. This code will redirect page to invoice.php page. Now we have check output in browser. Friends we can see when page has been loaded into browser we can see invoice list table on web page and above this we can see create button. So we have click on this button, after clicking on button create new invoice form has been view in the browser. Now we have fill this form, in receiver name we have vendor John Smith, then after we have vendor receiver address. After this we have enter invoice number and lastly we have select invoice date. Below this we can see item details field and here we can see plus button, so we have click on plus button then new one row has been generated with one remove button, so when we have click on remove button row has been removed. Now we enter item name as mouse and an item quantity we have write 10, then after we have write item price is 20, when we have enter price value then after an actual amount value has been calculated and display under text box of order item actual amount. After this we have enter tax 1 rate value as 5 percentage. After entering this value then tax 1 amount has been calculated and display under tax box and this amount has been added into actual amount and final amount also. Same way we have enter tax 2 rate value as 5 percentage, after entering this value then tax 2 amount has been calculated and display under tax box and this amount has been added into actual amount and final amount also. Now we want to add one more item so, we have click on plus button enter details all details of item like item name, quantity, price and tax rate, after enter this all details final amount has been calculated and display below here. Suppose now we want to remove this item from invoice so we have click on remove button and after clicking on button item has been removed from web page and that item total has also minus from this final total also. Here we have again add one more item by clicking on add button and enter item details like item name, item quantity, price and tax details. After entering this details all calculation has been done automatically. Now we want to save this invoice so we have click on create button. After clicking on create button all invoice details has been saved into database and page has been redirect to invoice.php page. So here we can see newly created invoice details in table format. In video we will discuss how to update this invoice details. If you have any query regarding this video tutorial part, please comment your query in comment box and if you like this video tutorial please share with your friends or even you can also share on social media also. If you want to get more update regarding our video tutorial, please subscribe our YouTube channel for get more update regarding release of future video. Lastly keep watching our YouTube channel. Thanks for watching this video tutorial.